Politicians often weave tales of their past to connect with voters, shaping their image through personal anecdotes. President Joe Biden is no exception. However, as these stories become part of his political identity, scrutiny arises regarding their accuracy. Ah yes, the art of political storytelling, where truth takes a back seat to narrative. President Joe Biden has undoubtedly mastered the craft, spinning tales of tragedy and triumph like a seasoned bard. Yet as these stories cement his political persona, it's hard not to raise an eyebrow at the convenient revisions and embellishments that seem to crop up whenever the spotlight shines too brightly on the details. Who needs accuracy when you've got a good story, right? Biden's narratives include the heartbreaking loss of his wife and daughter in a 1972 car accident, his transition from private law practice to public service, and his battle with a childhood stutter. While containing elements of truth, these tales have faced challenges and inconsistencies over time, leading to questions about their authenticity. One of Biden's pivotal stories is his account of a speech during his high school graduation in 1961, where he allegedly conquered his stutter. However, investigations cast doubt on this claim. Reports indicate no concrete evidence of Biden delivering such a speech, with no mention in school records, contemporary news articles, or accounts from classmates. The broader media's examination of Biden's narratives highlights discrepancies that raise concerns about the accuracy of his recollections. For instance, according to sources cited in the report, his description of the event that led him from private practice to public service appears embellished. This scrutiny is familiar to Biden. His 1987 presidential campaign faced challenges when he was caught exaggerating his academic achievements and faced allegations of plagiarism. These incidents and inconsistencies in his narratives have created a narrative within a story of resilience marred by questions of authenticity. As a Republican, it's easy to see why Biden's storytelling matters. It's not just about his personal history. It's about a leader's trustworthiness. If foundational narratives are called into question, it raises concerns about transparency and honesty in governance. Biden's recent pivot regarding his stutter adds another layer to this narrative. Initially framed as a triumph over adversity, it's now presented as a lifelong challenge that explains verbal missteps. This shift, particularly in response to political attacks, raises eyebrows among critics who question its sincerity. The broader implication concerns Biden's personal stories and the narrative shaping political discourse. Leaders' credibility is paramount in an era where misinformation and half-truths abound. Voters deserve narratives based on facts, not embellishments or convenient revisions. It's crucial to note that this scrutiny isn't about partisan politics, but about holding leaders accountable, regardless of party affiliation. The media's role in fact-checking and investigative reporting checks politicians' narratives, ensuring a more informed electorate. President Biden's narratives, while intended to inspire and connect, highlight the complex nature of storytelling in politics. As voters, it's essential to delve beyond the narratives and examine the substance behind the stories. After all, a leader's actions speak louder than words, whether spoken at a graduation ceremony or on the campaign trail. But remember that a well-crafted narrative can be a politician's best political accessory, even if it's more fiction than fact. While politicians' origin stories can be compelling, they must withstand scrutiny to maintain trust and credibility. Like any leader, Biden's narratives should be subject to rigorous fact-checking and scrutiny to ensure a clear and accurate understanding of their journey and motivations. The public's fatigue with political pandering stems from disillusionment and distrust. People are increasingly aware of the performative nature of pandering, where politicians prioritize image over substance, making promises they may not fulfill. This pandering often feels insincere and manipulative, undermining the authenticity that voters crave. As issues become polarized and campaigns rely more on sound bites than meaningful dialogue, the public yearns for genuine leadership focused on real solutions rather than empty gestures. The growing cynicism towards political pandering reflects a more profound desire for honesty, transparency, and accountability in governance. 